Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a couple of shortcuts that can be used when working with the chain rule for differentiation. The first one I want to show you, I've called shortcut 1 here, is the following. If a function f of x is equal to g of ax plus b, then its derivative f dash of x is equal to a times g dash of ax plus b. And I'll go ahead and box that result. There we go. Now this result is really useful as it's going to allow us to quickly differentiate any composite function whose inner function is a linear. So let's illustrate how it works with the example we have here. We need to differentiate f of x which is equal to sine of 3x plus 2. Looking at this we clearly see that this is a composite function and the inner function 3x plus 2 is a linear function. And that's what tells us that we can use the result we have here, and all we really have to do is make a note of the number that's multiplying the x inside our linear function, as that's the number that comes out when we differentiate it. So, looking at this, the number that's multiplying the x is 3, and using the fact that the derivative of sine is cosine, we can quickly differentiate this and state that f dash of x is equal to 3 times cosine of 3x plus 2. And that's the answer. Another example could be if f of x equals to 5 times e of 2x. Well, once more we're dealing with a composite function and the inner function, which is 2x, is a linear function. Indeed, we could think of 2x as ax plus b, where b would equal to 0. So with that in mind, we make a note of the 2, and using the fact that the derivative of e of x is just e of x, we can quickly state that the derivative f dash of x is equal to 5 times 2e of 2x, where this 2 is the number that came out of the inner function. And simplifying this, we can quickly state that the derivative f dash of x equals to 10e of 2x. And we're done. The second shortcut I want to show you involves the logarithm function, and it states the following. If a function f of x can be written as ln of u of x, then its derivative, f dash of x, will always be equal to u dash of x over u of x. And again, I'll go ahead and box that result. Just as the previous result, this result will often save us lots of time. And to illustrate that, let's work through the example we have here. We need to differentiate f of x, which is equal to ln of 2x cubed minus x. Clearly, we're dealing with a composite function that can be thought of as ln of u of x. And so if I call this inner function u of x, then it doesn't take us long to see that u dash of x will equal to 6x squared minus 1. And so using this result, we can state, without even thinking, that f dash of x, the derivative, is equal to u dash of x over u of x. In other words, it's equal to 6x squared minus 1 over 2x cubed minus x. And that's the answer. As another example, we could try and differentiate f of x, which equals to ln of sine of x. And once more, we can see that we're dealing with ln of some function, sine of x, so we can think of this as ln of u of x. And so if I quickly call sine of x u of x, then we quickly find its derivative, u dash of x, equals to cosine of x. And once more, thanks to this result, we can state without even thinking that the derivative f dash of x is equal to u dash of x over u of x. So that's cosine of x over sine of x. And in fact, we could simplify that further to state that's equal to cotan of x. And that's the answer. And so those are two nice little shortcuts that are definitely worth knowing when working with the chain rule for differentiation. And that's it for this tutorial. 